Hey Daily You, Amanda here. I'm next to a dumpster to show you guys how not to be garbage on Halloween by pulling together a last minute costume idea that you can make by just going to a local arts and crafts store. I like to craft. We're going to be making a bat headband full of bats. First things first, we are going to get black paper. Get it all to the corners and we are going to fold this. And then with your artistic ability, draw half of a bat to make it look very scary. If you don't have any artistic ability, it's still gonna look scary, just for different reasons. I'm gonna draw it out with a pencil first. We're gonna cut it out. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not gonna cut my fingers. And then, I did it! Look at these bats! Flap, flap! Too spooky. Now just do that a bunch of more times. You're probably gonna need like six or seven. Okay, we have enough bats. Arriba! Now you can get rid of the excess paper. Now we're gonna take our black wire and we're gonna cut it at different lengths. My scissors that I just threw. Let's cut. Oh, oh, we got it. Oh, yes. Oh, slinky. Next step. Evaluate our life choices. Why? Why did I wait so long to figure out a Halloween costume? Oh, snip, snip. Now that we have our pieces of wire, we're going to straighten it out. Like how we straighten out our life after evaluating all these decisions we've made. Next step is to poke the wire through the bats that we have just painstakingly made. We're gonna stab them. Okay, all right. Hop, stabbing bats, stabbing bats. Okay, look. And you can just stop right here. I mean, you can just be a bat wizard. Just have your own little bat wand. We're going to bend the wire inside the fold. So you see, it's just a little bat. Then we're going to get our hot glue gun and glue the inside of it and then fold it shut. And also try not to burn ourselves. That's, that's a little extra step. Whether you choose to follow it or not, that's your prerogative. Did it! Boom! Now just repeat this step as many times as you made bats. We did it! Now that we have all of our bats on wire, we are going to assemble them together in a colony on top of my head. On the headband. We have our headband. We are going to just twirl it. We're gonna twirl it. Look, twirl. Be sure to keep the end of the wire on top so it's not poking into your head so then you don't bleed and then actual bats come and feast. As you're putting them on, just scatter them at different heights. If you wanna secure it more, then you can actually use your hot glue gun and then secure it on top of the band. And there you go, we have our bat headband. It's so beautiful. How do I look? And then you can just move them around to whatever way you want it to be. Super spooky. So go out to your local craft store, pick up all the supplies, and then make your own amazing bat headband. So be sure to subscribe to Daily U for more videos like this, guys. You can check me out at youth.com slash Amanda's Chronicles. I'm gonna go get my Halloween on. That's right, going down. Bats are probably gonna stay up because they're suspended in air. Going to the bathroom in a romper requires more stretching than a yoga class. Hashtag girl problems. What's a romper? I don't know what a romper is. Don't know what a romper is? I'll tell you. It's a skirt that's really shorts, but it's also a dress. Hashtag one less girl problem.